Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a brand new Temporal Forces Elite Trainer Box. Now this is one of two Elite Trainer Boxes from this newly released set just coming out March 22nd, 2024. So this one features Walking Wake. The other one does feature the future Pokemon Iron Leaves. Now this set, I am looking forward to opening the products very much. I was a little bit down on this set and I looked into it a little bit more. Of course, there are two different trios of Pokemon featured in Temporal Forces. One would be the Legendary Beasts, so Suicune, Entei, and Raikou, which are from the second generation of video games and sets and things like that, Gold, Silver, Crystal. This one, of course, being a combination of Suicune, a previous form of Suicune and then there are these stores of justice which features I have it written down just so I don't forget but it does feature Cobalion, Tarakian, Verizian and Keldeo. So lots of nostalgia for myself. Black and White I actually did a walkthrough of Pokemon Black and White on a different channel many many years ago but the Black and White series of sets very nostalgic for me as well. Now this set is the first set since 2013 so 11 years ago already to have a spec trainer card so a lot to like about this set i did purchase this elite trainer box msrp 49.99 i bought the set of two elite trainer boxes from collector's cash for 69 dollars and 99 cents so about 34 dollars and 99 cents per elite trainer box and another reminder that do not go to a retail store like a walmart or a target or anything like that to buy elite trainer boxes you're going to get ripped off go online to a site like collector's cash where you can find them much cheaper there's a link in the description of this video for collector's cash now before i get too far into this video certainly in the comment section of this video let me know what you think of this set already the fifth scarlet and violet series set and i'll show in a moment the um format indicator is h i believe the regulation mark so april 5th of 2024 the standard format is going to change so temporal forces will be a big part of the standard format very very soon i'll take the plastic wrap off of the elite trainer box now and then give you a better look at the contents on the inside now iron leaves is a future form i believe of verizon of course the video game that i put the most time into in my entire life a thousand plus hours pokemon crystal that was based around suicune so, so that is why i wanted to open up this later elite trainer box first i do have a booster box that i'll be opening up very soon as well i'm actually recording this video pretty late at night my wife wants me to to get to bed get a good night's sleep so i thought i'll hold off on the booster box that'll be coming later this week but here are the contents on the inside nine booster packs that's the price increase from 39.99 to 49.99 for one additional booster pack and then you do get a black star promo card in there 65 card sleeves 45 energy cards and several other items so i will take off off the cardboard the player's guide is a great way to see some of the cards in the set now there are 218 total cards in this set it is a little bit smaller set compared to some of the more recent sets out there another set that includes both illustration rares and special illustration rares of course you have the gold hyper rares things like that i like to look at the player's guide just to see the cards that I'll probably never pull. There are the different hyper rares, all of the legendary trios that I was talking about earlier. And really some of these are the most valuable cards in the set. Show the contents here. Quick jump over to the price guide on TCG Player just to give you a good idea of what cards in the set are worth. And unfortunately, there's not anything real valuable at the current time for a couple of reasons. So here are the booster packs. First Temporal Forces, or Temporal, however you like to pronounce it, that I'll be doing on my channel. So the sleeves, that's really why you buy the Elite Trainer Box, really for two reasons. Three, 
essentially either to keep it sealed, they're always a good return on investment. You buy it for the card sleeves, which I don't really use these sleeves much from Elite Trainer boxes. And then of course you can also buy it for the promo cards, at least in the newer Elite Trainer boxes. So there would be the dice and the condition markers. Card dividers, I do like the touch of glossy purple to the dividers, the front and the back. So just the Pokemon on the front. The Brick of Energy cards. Good news for those out there. I guess they are discontinuing the Build and Battle Stadium products for this set. I know for a long time you could get those so much cheaper than MSRP, but they're still having the Build and Battle boxes, but not the Stadium boxes. So Flutter Main in this Elite Trainer box, the Black Star promo, card number 97. Essentially an illustration rare keep that in the plastic i'll give away the code card the tcg live code and then the card sleeves i believe the legendary beasts are the ancient pokemon and then the swords of justice the future pokemon of course all six of those pokemon paradox pokemon reminds me a little bit of delta species pokemon i know the terra type are, are more similar type wise here are all of the booster packs before I get to opening the packs, I will jump over to the price guide on tcgplayer.com. A great way to have an idea of market prices. I have these sorted by highest to lowest price wise. And of course, I have that Time Magazine out on Pokemon cars. Uh, tips for investing. But right now, prices are not very expensive for this set for a couple of reasons. Number one, demand for the TCG on a whole down since covid and the supply is way up, so there's going to be a lot of extra cards out there, people trying to sell their product for cheaper just to get rid of it. And then there's not really any super collectible cards in this set. Myself, who've, who's been in the TCG a long, long time, there's a lot of nostalgia for me with those second generation Pokemon, and then the, is it the fifth generation for the black and white Pokemon, but these are Paradox Pokemon, so they're not really those sweet coon let's say it's walking wave now so it's a little bit different so walking wake or rather ex walking wake ex so there are some of the more valuable ones 57 dollars for the most valuable of course the special illustration rares are where the value is at so there's the iron leaves EX, Iron Crown EX will be very good because you can stack its ability, increasing the future Pokemon's attacks by 20. So potentially you could do, if you had four Iron Crown EX in your deck, you could do 80 more damage every single time with a different future Pokemon, not Iron Crown EX. But some cool looking cards here. A funny looking Raikou variant they are the ancient ones like i thought so you can see some of the value there hoping for a couple of good pulls from nine packs i will get to opening those packs now and for those watching i always include the chapters in the description of this video so you can just jump ahead to the part that you want if you're really short on time and just want to go to the end of the video to see if i pull anything good certainly you can do that i just thank everyone who is watching my videos all right, first pack here. Of course, this is a Verizon variant. Iron Leaves. Now, it is possible to get an A-Spec Trainer card as well as an Illustration Rare in the same pack. Straight through here for the Booster Pack. Slugma starts it. And if you see down here for that regulation mark is an H. So that is how the standard format is really... Uh, controlled now is by the regulation mark on the card. Slugma starts the first pack. Solosis, Skitty, Electabuzz, Unpheasant, Centiscorch, Buddy Buddy Poffin, which is actually a pretty good trainer card. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less and put them onto your bench. So a very good way to quickly get a deck that has multiple evolution Pokemon that need to be set up. Pineco would be the first reverse follow. Second would be a Latias. Good memories with Latios and Latias. And the guaranteed rare hollow in each and every pack. This time a Roaring Moon. All right. Let's see what happens in this next pack. I do have several Temporal Forces 
products to open up. I have that booster box, like I said. I have the other other Elite Trainer box. I have the three-pack blisters. I've actually been purchasing, I think I've purchased eight Elite Trainer boxes of Paldean Fates on Amazon. I've been able to get those for about $38 a piece, which is a pretty good deal. Cotton Easters, this one. Carvana. Ekans. Turtwig. Eerie, Colossal, Boxed Order, Tranquil would be the first of Reverse Hollow, second would be a Drampa, and this is an Illustration Rare, I do like the artwork on this card quite well, I might cheat sheet here, and there are 22 different Illustration Rares in this set, now technically it is a Secret Rare, Rare Two Eyes, 184 of 162, Gold Star at the bottom, like I mentioned earlier, 218 total cards in this set, 162 in the main part of the set. And the final card is a Flutter Main. All right, not bad at all. A Drampa Pole, Drampa GX. My wife Carla was big into the TCG when I was playing competitively. We'd both go to the Dork Den and we'd play in tournaments and league play, anything like that. And one of the first decks I actually built for online was a Drampa GX deck, which wasn't very good, but it was some of the cards that I just had left over. She quickly switched to a Gardevoir GX deck. Bramblin starts with this pack. Geofrig. Roselia. Cutie Fly. Iron Treads. Boxed Order. Rabombi. Sizzlipede. Second Reverse Hollow would be a Breloom. And the final card, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I'd say my second favorite right behind Charizard for Alligator. So a pretty good pull here. Very memorable, memorable for me for Alligator. My favorite Pokemon really overall outside of Charizard because it was the first Pokemon that I leveled up to level 100 in Pokemon Crystal. That was the first game that I ever played for the Pokemon TCG. I chose Totodile as my starter, and what I like to do in the Pokemon games is just get those Pokemon up to level 100 as quickly as possible. Like when I battle the Elite Four, I have one or two Pokemon that are super high. I don't really build a team because I just go full strength with the very high level Pokemon. Pushiana starts this one. Wiglet. Meltan. Seedot. Screamtail. Sableye. Iron Valiant, Colossal, Meryl, and the final card would be a Gouging Fire EX. So this is one of the Pokemon I was hoping to pull. Now this card is pretty good competitively when it comes to doing a good amount of damage for only three energy cards. So Blaze Blitz does 260 damage. However, this Pokemon card, this Pokemon can't use Blaze Blitz again until it leaves the active spot. So there's ways to do it with one of the best A-Spec trainer cards in this set. What did I write there? Prime Catcher, Prime, Prime Time Pokemon. Of course, Prime cards somewhat named after myself back in the day, but Prime Catcher will essentially be Guzma, and then you can reset a Blaze Blitz on this card, and it's not even a supporter card. All right, so there is the first EX that I've pulled from Temporal Forces. Quantity-wise, 15 different Pokemon EX from this set. There are 12 of the regular rare, the double rares as they're called, and then 12 of the ultra rares or the full arts. Not bad so far, pulls-wise. Drillbur starts this one. Relor, Ponyta, Shadot, Future Booster Energy Capsule. Iron Hands, Rescue Board, Ghastly. Ghastly is pretty cool as an illustration rare in this set. Set of Scorch, and a Mag Cargo. I still do not mind that transition from the yellow or the golden borders to the silver borders, like we've seen in all the Scarlet and Violet series sets. I do like that both the Japanese cars and English cars are, are more similar. Totodile starts this one. It's been a while since I've seen a Totodile card. Deerling, Pidove, Pineco, Rescue Board, Rabombi, Hand Trimmer, Bronze on the first reverse hollow, second would be a Haunter, and the final card would be a Drampa. 
So not as cool looking as that illustration rare that I pulled earlier. I know there is a full art trainer available in this set. It is Morty's Conviction that actually features Gengar. I know a lot of Gengar collectors out there are trying to pull that card. Of course, the best looking cards in this set are the special illustration rares. There are 10 total, 6 EX and 4 trainers. Cottony starts this one. Carvana. Ekans. Turtwig. Sandy Shocks. Hand Trimmer. Rabska. First reverse hollow would be a Relor. Second would be an Iron Leaves EX. So this is one of the six hyper rare EX cars. A very cool looking pattern to it. But of course, this is a future form of Verizon. So very, very cool. And this card will have some use competitively. Its ability allows you, when you move Iron Leaves from your hand to your bench, to move it directly into the active Pokemon spot and move as much energy from your other Pokemon to it as you'd like. So you can actually quickly do 180 damage with Iron Leaves EX. So very happy with this pull. And then the final card would be a Maridon. So very, very happy pulling that hyper rare out. And value-wise, those gold cards, they look beautiful. They're just never really that valuable. But I do like pulling cards that are tough to pull. They are usually some of the toughest cards to pull from a set. So here is Raiko, the ancient form of it. Raging Bolt, I believe. Let's see what happens in this one. Mawile to start it. Meditate. Turtonator. Hoot Hoot. Rapska. Iron Juggalus. Full Metal Lab. Fortress. Eerie. Let's take a look at this trainer card once. Your opponent reveals their hand and you discard up the two item cards you find there. And then Relicanth as the final card. I do like the artwork on this card in the hollow foil pattern pretty cool looking all right on to the final pack let's see what's in this iron leaves pack and like i said i'll be opening up a temporal forces booster box in the very near future i haven't decided yet if i'm going to open that up in one part or two parts See how I feel that day, or if you have any thoughts on it, let me know in the comment section of this video. Poochiana starts the final pack. Wiglet. Arbok. Seedot. Fortress. Full Metal Lab. Golurk. First Reverse Solo, where the Ace Spec card should have been, or if I was able to pull one, that is. Wiglet. Second Reverse Solo would be a Boltund. Final card would be a Scovillain EX. So a good way to end the Elite Trainer Box. Happy with my pulls. If from the Iron Leaves Elite Trainer Box I have very similar pulls, I take that any day. So give me a moment and I'll summarize all of my good pulls from this Elite Trainer Box. The first Temporal Forces product that I've opened up on my channel. Okay, four cards to summarize from nine booster packs of Temporal Forces. I was able to pull out a couple of EX, Scoville in here, and then one that I was happy to pull in Gouging Fire EX. I was able to pull out one illustration rare and a cool artwork in Drampa, and easily the best pull of the opening. I do wish it was the special illustration rare version of it, but I will take this gold colored Iron Leaves EX any day. And a couple of competitive pulls from this Elite Trainer Box, like I just said, I take these pulls any time in any of my openings. I am very excited to get this booster box opened up of Temporal Forces to see what the pull rates are like and just see what other great cards I'm able to pull. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to leave a like on this video if you think it deserves it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And then there is a link to both Collector's Cash, where I purchased this Elite Trainer Box from, as well as a link to my Patreon in the description of this video. Check those two things out if you have any interest. But otherwise, thank you everyone for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.